Hi, this is Joe at Cable Guys with something brand new for ShaperBox 3. Say hello to the oscilloscope tool. In this video, I'll show you how this powerful new tool will help you visualize your waveforms and dynamics, identify clipping, target phase issues, and more. Let's load ShaperBox 3.1 on this drum loop and open the oscilloscope tool. The waveform of the incoming audio is shown in real time, displaying volume in decibels against time. Scale the waveform with this control. The default both mode shows the stereo left and right waveforms overlaid. You can view the left and right channels only, or split the display between left and right. Now I'm going to add some shaper effects. You can drag to place the scope anywhere in the chain of shaper effects to view the signal at that point in the chain. Use the arrows or menu to change the horizontal time scale. Bar divisions are synced to your song, ideal for viewing drum loops and door synced waveforms. For classic free running mode, choose Hertz and drag the slider to set the rate. And you can freeze the waveform. The oscilloscope can also display two signals at once, helping identify potential clashes and phase relationships. I'll load the oscilloscope on this bass track and route a kick signal into the shaper box's sidechain input. Turn external sidechaining on and the kick waveform is shown in orange alongside the white bass. To reset the waveform on each kick, switch to audio mode and turn on external sidechaining. Now you can zoom in and pinpoint any phase issues. For synthesis and sound design, you can think of an oscilloscope as a microscope for viewing your waveforms. Switch the LFO length to Hertz mode and drag the slider to zoom in. Or choose MIDI pitch mode and use MIDI notes to scale to the pitch of the played note. Watch as I low pass filter this saw weight. As harmonics are removed, you can see it turning into a smooth sine wave. Or if I frequency modulate the saw with a sine, watch the waveform become more complex. An oscilloscope can help you identify problems with dynamics and gain staging. Let's load the oscilloscope on the master bus, first in the chain. Here the red indicators show that parts of the track are clipping over 0 dB going into my master plugins. Now I can address these problems in the mix or simply turn the track down. The ShaperBox 3.1 update, including the oscilloscope, is free for all ShaperBox 3 owners. You can find out more at cableguys.com.